In question 4, we have to write 5 pairs of integers a and b such that a divided by b is equal to minus 3. One such pair is 6 and minus 2 because 6 divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 3. So this question is quite easy, quite straightforward. We have to write any 5 pairs of integers a and b such that a divided by b is equal to minus 3. a divided by b is equal to minus 3. So this thing, this fact, a divided by b equal to minus 3, when written in terms of multiplication, this means that, so if we convert this statement a divided by b equal to minus 3 into multiplication form, this means that a is equal to minus 3 into b, correct? So we can pick any 5 non-zero integer values for b, and for each value of b, we can find the corresponding value of a using this relation. Okay, so let's do that now. So for our first pair, let's take b equal to 1. So for b equal to 1, we will get a equal to minus 3 into 1 or minus 3. So one pair that we can take is minus 3, a equal to minus 3 and b equal to 1. Now let's take b as another integer, non-zero integer. Let's take b equal to minus 3. So for b equal to minus 3, a will be equal to minus 3 times b, minus 3 times minus 3 or 9. So our second pair of integers is 9 and minus 3. Okay, then let's take b equal to 4. For b equal to 4, a will be minus 3 into 4 which is equal to minus 12. So our third pair of integers is a equal to minus 12 and b equal to 4. Then let's take b equal to minus 5. So I'm just picking non-zero integers at random. So b equal to minus 5 gives us a equal to minus 3 into b minus 3 into minus 5 which is equal to 15. So our fourth pair of integers is a equal to 15 and b equal to minus 5. Finally, for our fifth pair, let's take b equal to 7. So for b equal to 7, a is equal to minus 3 into 7, which is equal to minus 21. So our fifth pair of integers is a equal to minus 21 and b equal to 7. So the five pairs that I have found for this question are these five pairs that you see. For each of these pairs, if you want, you can verify that a divided by b will be equal to minus 3 since this is how we have picked the two integers. Okay, so that completes question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.